Hey guys, my name is Eddie Egg and welcome back to another episode of Overcrowd where your boy is trying to build the world's greatest train station ever. I got seven and a half G's in the bank and my likeness happiness rating is at 18% which is doing pretty well. Today I want to try and expand to one of the lower platforms. I'm not too sure which side I want to do. I might do this side first because I've only got a little bit of small room there and also lead up for me sorting this out too where I can place down some more shopping stuff. Um, we take a look at the rep on the previous day which had just happened. The big one is people being late. There was fumes, and I think that's down to the fact that I had a few stuff I needed to repair, and it also been overcrowded. And if they're the only issues I've got right now, it's kind of okay. The overcrowded stuff will come when I eventually expand and sort things out. But I've got some really, really good plans for the train station. Now, guys, if you're enjoying this, smash that like button down below. And if you're only around here, please make sure you do subscribe. We could do with these being refilled. Uh, the generators. Where's my person who does the refillings? Uh, over there. I think they're on their way right now. Oh, we need... Oh, crime desk! Oh, they're doing this at the crime desk right now. Arrest this foolio! There we go. Sorted, mate. Sorted. Sweet. Okay, so let's take a look at editing the floor. And by editing the floor, I mean um, buying the floor. Because that, be, uh, that would be pretty handy if uh, possible, sir. If possible. So, we need to buy then. So, it's quite far down. So, we have to do a lot of... Uh, a lot of um, sculpting, aren't we? Now, if I was to buy this whole little section here that kind of goes in line, that would suck up most of my monies. But that's okay, because we're kind of finding out or figuring out how this is going to work. So if I kind of pause right now, and let's say... Oh, there's actually quite a bit of land I can sculpt down. I didn't realize this. So if I go down by one level... I mean, I want to go to the whole... I've got to go to the whole way anyway, the whole side over here, because this is... Uh, how we're going to reach down to that side. And I don't know whether to take too much or a little bit less. Now, we'll take... I need to go right up there against there because I need to make the platform long enough. But if I take up to that, obviously it's still not long enough. I have to go down one more. So if I take two on the side, or three. Right, hold on, guys. If I do like do it like that, Bring this side down by one as well. I can stagger the escalators, if that makes sense. So for me to stagger them would mean I need to bring this actually back up again. And we'll bring this side. How much have I brought it in by? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. No, it's four, sorry. So four there. Right, four there. And I do one, two, three, four. I have a four there. Bring it down. All right, just bear with me a second, guys. One, two, three, four. And I'm hoping that creates the beautiful staggered down for the escalators. I could do tearing it down and then bringing it back up on this side when I eventually add it all in. Which will be buying more land. But how it's going to work is... I'll put it back into play mode now for a second. I mean, you won't really see that station much. But, oh, is there a dude down there stuck right now? There is people down there stuck. That's not going to go bobo well for us. So, what I'm thinking is eventually, right, I might turn this escalator system here all into the entrance point. And then I'll have an exit that kind of breathes over up to here. So, you can exit out there. Like, we'll bring it, probably stagger it up and go across. And the same on that side, stagger it out there. But then again, it'd be a bit weird. I might have another exit point there as well, but we'll just see how things rock and roll in in, in, in the... Uh... Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so infrastructure, escalators, how much it is? It's a 400 a piece. So if I did one... Um, well, this is going to be a test. If I did one there, I could do one there. Which uh, fits in quite wonderful. So again, it's it's... How much have I got? Okay, one there. I mean, for now, I can just have this. Well, one being the exit, one being the entrance. So, had that being the exit. Had that being the exit as well. Uh, oh, hang on. i got to flip them around. I just realized they're facing the wrong way. Flippy, flippy Rooney. <laughs> right, flip that round. So, that's the, so, they should be able to exit right now. 
So just for now, that's how we get it all set up until we got a little bit more money. But this is actually going to be pretty cool, isn't it? How we stagger this now? It's the best we can do. I mean, at least we can see this side when we get it all set up and running. But it is pretty cool, isn't it? So this will eventually come down. I can't configure it to how I want it to go because I need to add in the extra platform. So I can't bring it down to platform 4 just yet. But at least I could turn things around slightly. Right, hang on, get the right angle. So someone needs a UV line drip, please. Could you just go and grab that drip? So I add the heat stroke. Um, what is the temperature like in this place? Okay, right, okay, okay, okay. So it's a little bit hot up here, that's okay. Um, with the how wide this little gap is going to be between this pla um, platform over here, we can do some utility building and stuff like that to add in the AC to push it around. But at the moment, it's okay. People are um, stressing that the wait times are currently long, but until I can expand this section and add in more stores, they're going to kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> just, for the, just for the moment. Right, let's get in. Let's, um... Right, infrastructure. Oh, no, I need to get the procurement to unlock the next... I might as well unlock the next platforms. There we go. Adding the infrastructure now for that platform. So maximum six carriages is going to cost me 1,280. Right, I'm going to get that in now. I'm going to try not to spend much more money. Get that stock in there. Just because, you know, I'm trying to uh, save a bit of money to pay the bills when this day is over. But bringing that down to number four. Down to number four. Down to number four. Down to number four. Which means these little gates here. I also have to add in number four on them too. So they're able to get down here. Beautiful. Let me rotate the right way. Sweet, mate. Okay, so we need more power and stuff. What are they complaining about today then? There's a body near... Oh, wait, is there a dead body lying somewhere? I'm not 100% sure if there is. Uh, configure my signage. What's the, what's the, What's an issue now? Configure your signage. There is no route from entrance F to platform 4. Entrance F? Who are you? I'm not quite sure what it means. They're all going the right way down. Which is, you know, good. Oh, I get what you mean. Because I need to put a bridge over it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right, sweet. Okay, don't worry about it just yet. Right. And okay, so who's got the watering can? <laughs> can you get over here and fix it, please? Adding some more juice into those machines. Okay, is there anything I need to look? Oh, there's the KO. Oh my good God, Siniak. What what are you doing right now? How is this all happening on your watch? No wonder your reputation is terrible. Damn, boy. Damn. Right, let's get that sorted then. So we need more oils to power the generators. But we'll get into that in just a moment. Um, let me take a look at the power anyway. So power levels, we need 33.90. We are not producing enough. Okay, but I ain't got the money just yet. So we'll wait for a bit more money to come in. I need to set like a signal up as well, do a bridge, add another generator in. It's becoming slowly expensive. Very, very expensive. But it's okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Wait for these guys to come in then. No train down there just yet. We can call a train, but, you know, there's no point just yet. Uh, we just got to wait for a little bit extra money to come in. I think the first thing I will do is build... Um, can I call the train? Not yet. Build the bridge going over. It's 300 smackaroonies for that. Have we really not got 300 yet? Right, I'll place that one just here as they're walking in. So that's now reachable. And don't tell me it's not because it freaking is. It's reachable from both sides. Now, what are you telling me? Yours, there was no route from entrance F to platform 4. But guys, guess what? 
the freaking is. So don't lie to me like that, game. Right, I need to get some more power in anyway. So let me just sort the power situation out then. So utilities, power generator two. I can't squeeze another one in, can I? No. So we'll have to create a new power room and, and it would be a good idea to place it down here. Or is that too far away? Well, I've got one to show over here in this section. It doesn't mean buying the land, which is 440. So I buy that quickly. Just pause the game just very quickly. Um, utility room, bring it up to there. No, let's cancel that. How do I cancel? Tab to cancel. I didn't bring it over far enough. There we go. Sweet. And utilities. I need a generator. No, it... Oh, no. I'm about to say it's the wrong room. It's not. I don't have enough money. Your boy don't have enough money. As usual. There we go. So, we're now producing enough power for that. Down here. Are we still not producing enough power? We've got a couple of generators here out of fuel. Right. Oh, they're coming over right now to fill it up. I still understand how we haven't got no... No entrance point. Four. It's going to four. We're going down. Right, these guys are coming now. Oh wait, it's these escalators. Sediac. Oh, I just realized it's those escalators as well. Oh, I got there in the end, guys. There we go. The warning signs now gone. I forget those escalators. Oh, okay, right, sweet, we're done. We're done. We're Gucci, boys. We're Gucci. Right, still need power, but I'm going to keep spending a little bit of money now on refilling this stuff. So, level two generator. Boom. Boom. Adding two more. It is a big station that we're trying to power right now. We're trying to power with imagination. <laughs> right, okay then. So, so am I going to fix this yet? Where's my other employees? Oh, let me, let me see if the employees can um, level up at this point. So you can, yes. So grab and upgrade your strength. Upgrade strength. Upgrade strength. Upgrade strength. Upgrade strength. Yes, and get one more out of it. Nice. Right, some of them are going to be able to carry more tools now. 100 percentos. So you go and grab the repairing tool. You can grab the information tool. So there's a couple more tools to hold in right now. So we can do a few more extra jobs here and there. So yeah, this is going really well. So I have to keep calling this one manually myself until we have an actual si um, signal caller thingy majig. What are they called again? Signal automator. Until we got another one of those set up. But now it's just about trying to gain some cash. We got a, a wild one over here, a brute, which will get taken care of very, very soon, hopefully. Yes, 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 yes. And now we're going to have to wait because the night time is coming. Somebody else is, or Sing's just leveled up again. Uh, night time is coming, which means everybody is going to go home, which they're doing right now. And I need to save that money to pay all my bills. All my bills. Right, with that said, then, I want to try and get the exit set up and covered on this side. And then people can exit once they get off this train up there and off they skedaddle and get out of here. So big issues right now is still overcrowded and they're late. So we're going to speed up processes and ways to get them to where they need to get to. So again, we're just going to try our hardest to speed up that progression. Okay, so is there a way where... I've got the escalators coming down here, which is all good. Uh, but also adding some just here where we can speed up the process, extending the way they check in on this side. There's got to be a way, isn't there? Because obviously to come down here, to walk across, get down, I could also make them go straight down. We'll see how that goes. Has everyone exited yet? No, there's a few more to go. And I'm ready to skip to the next day. So, right, okay, so edit floor. I need to buy. So if I bought that much I know it's worth rotating this way and I need to sculpt the floor so I don't know how high I need to sculpt it we'll kind of play around with it so if I went to this stage and brought this floor 
out like that, then I don't have, I mean, hmm, this is going to be interesting. So infrastructure escalators. Actually, yeah, this is going to be interesting right now. I'm trying to be, can I, you can't really sell floor, can you? Oh, you can. Right click the cell. Right, sell that. Sell that. So we're just going to keep it a tight knit little corner there. So escalators. I didn't realize you could sell that easy. There we go. Right, sweet. Right, let's get back to it then. So escalators then. We'll have one, two, three. Not sure in which directions they're going to go in yet. So you need a little bit of space there. So if I raise this floor up to there. Again, not too sure how far we need it to go. But I'll work it off the one escalator for now. And I need to come down by another. So edit and buy some more floor. Sculpt it to there. Escalator. Boom. To there. Look at the three tiers we got going on. This is the thing when it's so freaking low. And we'll just buy a little bit extra for a little bit extra space. Now I could... I could in a way... Set something up where... They exit and enter from this point as well. Now if I bought the rest of that, which is 720... Just turn a bit. Where... Mm, now nah, I wouldn't want to go that far. I could just treat that as exit points. And you don't need so many escalators, but it does look kind of cool. Um, no, I, but at the same time, I could treat it as entry points. Couldn't I? Where infrastructure I have, then a footbridge go over on this side just there. There's another way to kind of climb over. Um, if I got infrastructure set up now for da -da 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 turnstiles oh someone's passed out where if I did it like see that would be, be the difficult part though is how now I do this it's right against the train tracks Unless if I rotate there, who's KO'd anyway or passed out? Is anyone going to save them? Oh, I think I've just lost a little reputation. I'm not even paying attention. Right, I'm going to act like it's not even happening. <laughs> like I do with most things. Right, and let me sell that. Sculpt the floor. Bring this. No. Bring that down. Bring that down. That down. And we'll keep it like that. Right, we'll keep it to like that. We'll buy this little section there. So we've got a little bit extra space to play with. And then a turnstile. You do one there. One there. Or the opposite way. Ah, in like that. If I do one, how much are these? 150? Ooh. Is everyone going home? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to pay the bills. But do you see where I'm going with this? Like, I, I create another. What's the issues today? Late, overcrowded. Okay. So I'm creating another exit and entry point. Like, one escalator goes up, one goes down. I'm going to have like a, an entry and exit point just there. Maybe a couple of shops just over here in the corner. Just to kind of get down to this little section. So they could, if they wanted to, just walk around. I mean, I'm going to open up and buy this when there's more shop stuff so we can filter out people in different ways. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. So let's bring this down then. So this is... We'll make it go to all of them anyway because, obviously, that's what you want to do. We're going to make it accessible for everything. There we go. And then we just make this the exit. Obviously, going up. Exit going up. Exit going up. Okay, it's all preset. We'll make this one be the exit. Going in that direction. Is everyone left? 
this is where I need more staff as well. You can tell that I need more staff. Uh, they're going to hate me right now because I'm going to skip to the next day. Oh, I can pay the wages. Okay, good. We're still good then. Right, we're still good. <laughs> right, fence. This is going to cost me 25. Okay, so bam, bam, bam. Up to there. And we just play the waiting game on the turnstiles. So it cost me 150 a piece. So wait till we got. I mean, do I, I only need one, don't I? Yeah. So then the rest then is infrastructure and fences. Does that turn there? No, I didn't think it did. Uh, fence. Boom, just like that. And obviously this goes to all of those. And in that way. And that could that could now potentially be used. Obviously, it probably won't be it'll probably be more used as an exit than anything else right now. But that is kind of set up for it. We're there for it right now, which is good. So now we can then focus on making money again. So uh, it would be nice to buy this area and start placing in more stores. I mean, what I'll do first, if I rotate back around, I might incorporate this or I might not. Well, people are walking around there. I don't know whether to incorporate that or funnel them how they're being funneled right now. Yeah, because they can still walk down to this side. So that's fine. That's fine. Uh, oh, we need. Oh, do we need power again? Or is this just stuff not being powered? We're out of fuel in some stuff. This is where I really need more staff. I need more tools and utilities. That's what I need to kind of focus on as well. But at the same time, I need to make money. <laughs> it's like a never ending circle. So let's call in this because I'm not even calling in this uh, train at the moment. I keep forgetting to do it. Right, that room is completely filled up. There's no point in me doing anything for that at the moment. Where's my staff member who does all the refilling? Oh, relaxing like like nothing. Right, refill that generator, please. Right, people coming over here as well, which is good to see. We're getting there. I need to place in so many more trash cans down here as well. So we'll, we'll get there eventually, guys. Right, refilling stuff then. So, facilities. We need a bin. So, I've got to drop a couple of bins down here and there. So, let's do... Right, let's drop a bin just there and there. It costs $100 a pop. One there. I do one just here on the corner. I don't know where to place them down there. So, I think I might just hold out for that little section just for a moment. Uh, my rating's gone down to 10%. Let's call it another train. But at least they're walking around this way, so I don't know whether that is beneficial for people saying it's overcrowded or not. I don't know. Okay, so the person who is now gone to refill the generator is also the one who's got my crime um, stopper thing. So we'll see how that goes. We'll eventually have like another exit point on this side too, so not all going to be going out that one side. Some of them will be going out this side. Do I need another entry over here? Uh, yeah, I do. Let me just pause this quickly. Sell. Well, let's sell this whole little section. Um, facilities, not ticket machine. Turnstile. I could drop one there. How did, I, how did that happen? And I can't move it now. <laughs> Damn fool. Uh, turnstile. So I've got, I mean, then I've got three in, haven't I? So that's, I got an additional two. Let's get the fence in. So all platforms. And there we go. So there's additional two. Oh, I'm just going all over the place right now. There's additional two in. So there's many different options and to get through there. So hopefully that will tear through the additional people coming through that then. So there's no big queues or holdups. Yeah, they're all starting to walk around here and down here right now, which is really good. 
but they do need seating and benches and to be told where to go. So my, my reputation will take a knock for the moment, but I am funneling everybody through a lot easier. It's still not going to help my overcrowded situation. And again, no matter, this is all coming from one gate being open. Just imagine when I got the other two gates open to let people into the station. That's what I'm scared about. I really am. Um, right, okay. So we'll wait for this night to be over. And then we'll skip it. See how much money we got. And then we'll think about unlocking and unloading more land. So again, it's overcrowded. It's queues, gloomy, litter, late. So this is all coming from this new little area I've set up down here and stuff. Where they're complaining about it. So we'll eventually get to it. You can barely see what's going down in this section. <laughs> it's it's so well hidden. It's crazy. It really is. So I need to set up more power rooms and stuff like that. Where I place those, I don't know. I mean, I could possibly get something in up here. But it is such a narrow little spot. Yeah, it probably won't work. Right, can I skip this day yet? No, I can't. Can't skip the day just yet. When I've bought this area, they can pass through a lot easier. I'm just playing the waiting game at this point. Are they all out? The last one's about to go. Then I'm buying this little area here. So skip. There we go. I can now buy. So let's edit the floor. And how much to buy the whole little section? I can't afford it, but it's okay because I'm going to buy up to here. So the reason for buying that, <clears throat> let me just pause now. Turnstile, if we turn and place this in, so one there, one there, one there, and one there. Now, I've got an idea. Because now I've placed down additional turnstiles, I can turn the first two here into the exit. To get out because now I have additional turnstiles to allow us in and then leave that exit one up there so they exit from different ways they can go straight up or left and right so I'm trying to reduce the overcrowdedness in certain areas right that's pretty good then we've got that set up so you can enter and exit from both areas which is quite exciting it is quite exciting Eventually, I might just turn this into the whole entry point. And the exit is you have to walk a different route. Let's bring this train in too. So I've got two six six dollars remaining. Man, this train station has, has been so freaking expensive. But when I'm eventually done with it, it's going to be so freaking amazing at the same time. Well, let's rotate them back to our normal view so we can see what's crack lacking, what's going down. Now, they're all exiting there and just disappearing and getting out of here so freaking easy. It's amazing. Are I going to call the next train yet? No, not yet. And there's little pockets of, like, you know, up here and over here where I can place in little stores and stuff like that. Oh, it's so good, man, the amount of stuff I can do. It's just I've got to get to that point of being able to do it. Right, 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 right. So, do I have any kiosks set up yet? I don't, do I? No. So maybe it's a good idea to set some up. So maybe placing one there on that side. One over here on this side. That'd be nice. Don't place it. Well, we've got two over there. I always forget we have two over there. And what's the prices on them? So free, free, free. Everything's free apart from the 10 and the 250 in terms of profit. So I've got to bring all this down so I'm also making the same amount of money. Now, see, whoever goes to these kiosks are now saving a trip to the other kiosk, causing more traffic issues. There we go. That one's done. I didn't, you don't realize how much the, uh, the kiosks sell. All right, let's bring these prices down because everyone has claimed that I'm scamming them. And as much as I want to, I'm trying to create the perfect train station. And we can't have any of these scams on the scene, boys. No, we can't. All right, the kiosks are now sorted, which is good. So there's now a little bit of a shopping. Well, I might say there's a little bit of a shopping range. We're starting to get some stores on the second level. <clears throat> 
So that's good. I could probably do with expanding that or failing that, build a secondary one. And again, it all comes down to where can you build that secondary one, Zeniac? Where? You don't have much room, you fool. I should probably just expand this, shouldn't I? That's what I should do. Right, edit floor, buy more floor. Actually, no. We'll, we'll buy it in the corner over here. We'll buy it there. Infrastructure is going to be our another tool room. I should. I need to delete that. I don't know why I bought that one. There we go. And tools will place in a jerry can. We'll place in some litter picking. We'll place in a tool kit. And I think that's what my next candidate needs the most of. So in terms of staff applicants, it was looking pretty decent. You've got, oh, wow, 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 wow. Jack Edwards here has very, very high strength. So I'm going to hire him. He doesn't have a very good perception. Where is he? Right, get him over here. So he doesn't have very good high perception anyway. So that's what I'm going to have to train over time with him. <clears throat> but until then, he's got some three pretty good ones, which are going to help fill the generators, pick up litter, which is going to be constant until I get the rest of the bins and stuff in. Right, I'll come to the reputation in just a moment. So he's got those three. So get him over here to refill that generator first and hopefully he'll start picking up litter around. You'll never know. He doesn't have very good perception. Okay, what are the reports saying? Overcrowded, people are late, queues, gloomy, fumes. Okay, the usual suspects, the usual suspects, but nothing to cry about because they're all issues that we're trying to work on and improve in, in general. So I feel like we also need to get as well more oil drums in for refilling. In, in peak times. Right, you're telling me that these guys in here have nothing to do? Right, get over here. Clean up down there, please. Tell me you got nothing to do at all. <clears throat> A part of me doesn't want to believe that. You should always have something to do. Right, these guys are picking up trash now, which is good. Right, I think we might be good to go for the next day. That person's gone. Can I afford the next day? No. Okay, let me quickly sell something. Right, I sold that bin. I'm still poor. <laughs> right, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell this bin too. No, I can't sell that. Can I sell this bin? Just so my staff doesn't don't leave me. I'd rather do that than anything else. And now everybody is coming back in for the next day. Right, you empty that trash can there. What's going on, Edwards? It's right in front of you. Damn fool. I mean, we got the strength and stuff at the start, but man, we need his perception to be on the ball right now. That's what we need, boys. That's what we need. Right, everybody going to these little kiosks? Of course they are. They love these little kiosks. Well, I'm just glancing around right now. So, again, it's all about making that sweet money. What's the reputation today? It's gloomy. Yeah, it's understandable because of the lights. What's the power situation? We need 36 kilowatts. We're producing 37. So, I mean, it's not as much as you would want it to be. Meaning I need to get an another generator in, which costs us 500. Before I can start placing down any lights. Um, I need... Oh, you... Where's the uh, utilities? I need to get another oil drum in. Where do I place it? I don't know. We can place one there. So one just there. One just over here. So two in that room, just because there's so many generators there. And at least then, 
Um, we have enough oil lying around to refill generators in certain times of day, which is good. We're doing really good, man. We're doing really good. I got good vibes. Right, commerce. Do I drop another kiosk here? Yeah, we do one there. Do one there as well. Got to adjust these prices before everybody gets mad at us. Right. So I'm only placing them here because of how overpopulated those current kiosks are going to get. So we're just kind of covering our backs on this side. And the kiosks, they sell a lot of stuff. So they've got a great variety in general. So they should love that. If they don't, then what are you doing in my train station, you damn folios? All right, bring that back up. Oh, no, wrong way. There we go. There we go. Bring it down to 10. Such huge price and um, profit margins that they put on there, but straight away it's negative towards your reputation. Right, you get up here. You're too far away, Edwards. You need to be in the mix of things. So that dishes at the kiosk, uh, spreads it a little bit thin on this side, so hopefully we can get some more sales going on and ticking along quite nicely. We need something to repair over here and also sort out this vandal. Who's breaking everything right now. Right. Excuse me, sorting the vandal out. He's breaking stuff. Stop the criminal. Got him. <laughs> Is there a queue over here? What are they queuing for over here? Are they just standing there chilling like strawberry villains? I think so. I think so. Right, it's going somewhat in the right direction. We need... Oh, we need another footbridge just here. That'll be handy to get those guys over that side. Uh, facilities. No, not facilities. Not tools. Infrastructure. No, not even that. Is it lighting? There we go. Let's do some lighting in some various hot spots. Now we'll do one down there. Let me turn this around. There. There. Make it a little less gloomy. Right, you know this is low-key going to rinse my electricity. We're trying to make it a little less gloomy. <laughs> oh, man. My reputation is now minus four. This is the first time it's dropped below zero percent. And what are the issues for it now? The big one is the litter. We are trying to keep on top of that. We have bins and garbage and everything like that. Like, oh, so bad. Uh, we got to empty it, meaning we will probably need more wheelie bins. But I think we'll save those issues for another episode, guys. We've done some sweet expansions. And now trying to get on top of the little mini issues that we get in that we really shouldn't be getting, to, to put it like that. So I need to hire a few more staff members who do some cleaning. Got to upgrade my Edwards dude who really doesn't do anything at all. Oh, and he needs he needs a rest. I always I always forget to do this. My own file management, put him on auto rest. I legit always forget to do that to people. But there we go, guys. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I see you all soon. So good, goodbye. <laughs>